here's what is hilarious to me. So the Wall Street Journal, conservative editorial mm -hmm. board. Oh my God, Mueller needs to needs to resign. You got Janine P uh, Pirro, <laughs> whatever her name is. I mean, she's trying to lock her up. Uh, and all her nonsense, but she should know about that considering yeah. her husband uh, went to prison uh, for all of his uh, oh, yeah. transgressions as oh, well. Yeah. 66 count indictment. Lord have mercy. Uh, it, 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 it's, it's hilarious watching this. This is when you know there's truth. Yeah. Because nobody acts unhinged when it's false. I mean, at this point, you know, they're trying to discredit the one person that has infinite amount of credibility. Um, you know, Robert Mueller being the former FBI director, being the person that came in and cleaned up the NFL in a couple of their uh, messes and a couple of other major cases. I mean, the guy has literally infinite amount of credibility when compared to a gentleman that literally lies for a living at this point in time via Twitter. Um, this, the, the echo chamber is in full swing right now, and uh, it's going to be in full swing until these you know, indictments are unsealed, and then it becomes, oh, man, it's corrupt. You it's know. a little bit more than an echo chamber. It's more like living <laughs> in an alternative reality. Yeah. So obviously, conservative comms has now become about making up reality and changing the story completely and talking about something completely different. It's going to be pretty difficult, Glenn, to escape a federal indictment. <laughs> it's going to be pretty difficult to run, mm -hmm. run, run away from that. But, but, but here's the piece. Here's the piece, though, before I get to Glenn here, uh, about the legal piece, Malik, mm -hmm. is that for this White House, oh my God, y'all doing this because of tax reform. No, right. it's because your guy Manafort was the one who changed the party platform mm -hmm. when it came to Ukraine. Right. I agree. When it came to Carter Page in his meetings, when it came to Michael Flynn. Mm -hmm. I mean, and then, not, then all of a sudden, I, I, I love how they they somehow wants to believe that Hillary Clinton is in the White House. <laughs> right. I mean, I mean. See, now they don't have anybody. Yeah. They, Obama's that, gone and Hillary's gone. Right. Now, yeah. that, yeah. It's like, that's what's so laughable to, laughable to yeah. me. It's like, oh my God, uh, even Cora Lewandowski, the Clinton administration. Oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> shit. So, so here's the yeah. reality. It's, uh, it's no longer a reality show. <laughs> It's now real, okay? So you can't tweet your way out of this. <laughs> you can't spin and pivot your way out of this. There's going to be an indictment. And so at the end of the day, you know, like Pennsylvania is at will state. As an employer, you can hire and fire at will. Politics has no such thing. There are consequences, and we're about to find out what they are. This also is about power. Yep. I keep saying, let's stop acting like it's not. It's about power. It's about Here's more uh, on ABC This Week yesterday. The fact of the matter is the Republican Party is not imploding. When you control 31 governor's mansions, when you control legislatures, House, Senate, and the White House, more importantly, the judiciary, you're not imploding. Yeah, you have these internal fights, but this is about power. This is not about principles or character or morals and values. They want to maintain power. Trump is the vessel that allows them to do so. And so they'll fall in line. Jeff Flake, that wasn't courageous what he did. He was going to lose. Cor no, courageous is to still run. Courageous to say, I'm going to campaign around Arizona and speak the truth. And if I lose, that's fine. I'm not giving anybody props for giving a speech and cutting and running. No, you stand up and you stay in the office. You challenge them. That's how you do it. But people have to stop thinking the Republican Party is dead. They're not. And when you see what's happening in North Carolina, what is sadistic what they're doing, what is undemocratic, with Wisconsin, those states, we ignore what's happening in these states. Texas, five times they lost in the federal courts over voter ID, cost $3 million. It is real what they're doing in and, the states. And that course I lay all that out because, again, what we're there's this reaction, this this sort of coalescing around Trump. This is where the politics comes in because he is their vessel to maintain power. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 it's. it's, it's well, actually, they don't really need him. They could have Pence in there. That's one thing mm -hmm. that doesn't make mm -hmm. sense to me. Well, no, no, because they, they, he's well, so unpredictable now. They really can't funnel the power they want into what they want because he doesn't have access. Yeah, but here's the deal. Here's the deal, though. Because but but here's the deal. The reason you don't want to go there is because what you don't want is the political hit of disarray. Right, yeah. You, I mean, have you want already disarray. You want, well, I'm probably going to continuity. Go ahead. You want continuity, you but know. there will be this. There will be a political hit if you lose a president and have to bring in a vice president. <laughs> but secondly, I think the more, when it comes to discussion of power, um, you know, I'm a fan of McCom, a fan of Ryan, but to a very large degree, they ceded their power as a Congress to the White House. Which, you know, would, I don't think they have much of a choice on that. Well, they, 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 have, they have a distinct choice. You're, you're talking you, about, you, 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 come at, you, you got a guy, you got a guy you, steering you, the ship that doesn't know what he's doing. You, you That's have, why I'm saying no, that you have, you have one of the Pence greatest, you have, you doing have doing one of the well. greatest strategists and tacticians in Mitch McConnell. You know, if it was not for Mitch McConnell, we'd have Merrick Garland as oh, the Supreme Court Justice right now. So, so here's the thing: uh, we got to get out of this 
thing of Trump not knowing what he's doing. He knows exactly what he's doing, okay? And he beat a slew of Republican candidates and then Trump the Democratic Party. Got it. So, I mean, let's let's be clear. This guy has power, and he's going to continue to try and use it to to extreme amounts. And we're getting ready to find out how checks and balances work. All right, Glenn Ivy. So let's talk about the, this this legal piece here. So, uh, Mueller has been taking his time, has been talking. Now, all of a sudden, uh, we hear that he has got an indictment. No one knows who it is. No one knows if it's <laughs> somebody we know, somebody we don't know. Right. Uh, how does someone like him build this case? Well, normally you start low and work your way up to the top. Um, you know, we'll see if that's the strategy when we when they unveil this indictment today. I mean, we're here at speculation about Manafort or Flynn or whatever, but it really could be anybody at this point. And they've been very tight about not having any leaks on the information. But either way, even if he starts with Manafort or Flynn, he still has plenty of time. There's no rush. He controls the calendar and the clock. Uh, in whatever way he sees fit, and he can build the case in any way he wants. And when you talk about taking your time, I have to remind people, Watergate took 900 days. 900 days from the moment uh, the break-in took place to Nixon resigning. I mean, that, now obviously, obviously we're operating in a different world today. Uh, because with social media, I mean, things are moving uh, lightning fast. It wasn't just, I mean, every morning then folks are waking up, waiting for the Washington Post at 5 a.m., no, now they're, dro <laughs> now they're dropping stories every evening at 5.30 p.m. Right. Forget the next day's newspaper. Uh, and so, so things are a lot faster. But you also have, based upon everything I've seen, he has assembled a team that's expert at money. Oh, yeah. Uh, he's got definitely a group that, that's ex outstanding, actually, in uh, you know, those kinds of uh, economic crime investigations. He's also got the uh, cyber crime and, and yeah. foreign uh, affairs investigationers, uh, inv investigators that are on that team. So right. he can cover a range of topics. He can go wherever the investigation takes him. And if, if he feels like he needs to make some additions, he can always pick up uh, additional Glenn, attorneys. What do you think about the case running through New York to avoid the president pardoning somebody? Yeah, I don't know that he's going to have to pay much attention to the pardon issue because there's nothing he can really do about it. Like with Iran-Contra, yeah. uh, Reagan ended up uh, pardoning Casper uh, Weinberger, but the investigations move forward on the track that they would have gone anyway. I think that's what Mueller will do, too. So, well, but so, you, go ahead. so here's the thing, uh, Glenn. There are papers reporting this indictment will include collusion, potentially treason. In your expert opinion, is it on the table or off the table? So I mean, I just don't know yet. Uh, you know, it'll be interesting to see. You know, typically, in these kinds of investigations, they don't start with indictments. You, you know, they're conversations between the defendant and the prosecutors, and they try and seek a, a plea, and they don't bring an indictment. They do the charge through an information. So this is a little unusual. The other piece that was unusual, too, was when he did a search warrant on Manafort's <laughs> house. Right, 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 right. That, you know, that, right. usually they, they send him a subpoena, and yeah. the lawyers yeah. exchange documents. Mueller's really sending the signal. Yeah, He's not playing around with it. But you also, no, 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 on that whole point, we, we talk about collusion. You talk about, um, first of all, that's, that's more of a, a political issue there as well. On the pardon issue, um, obviously, if you're someone who's caught up, if you know he's going to give me a pardon, right. I have no incentive to flip. Right. That's, right. Mm -hmm. that's the thing. Almost like, can you speak to that? Well, that's true. Uh, you know, and one of the questions will be, um, if it gets to that point, what was given in exchange for the pardon or if there's some kind of quid pro quo. Uh, the pardon power is constitutional. The president, it's really unfettered. But that doesn't mean that that would shut down the investigation entirely, necessarily. And I think the political well, blowback could be pretty flip, significant. Well, if they would shut it down. If you Sorry? knew there was a pardon coming, you're not going to flip. If you're Paul Manafort or Mike Flynn and you know you're going to get pardoned, what are you flipping for? Yeah, I, I think it's a fair point. Uh, and, you know, the, the challenge will be certainly for Trump and the administration, but the Republican Party in general, can they withstand that sort of thing? Oh, yeah, they can withstand it. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Eight days on TV One. I will never lie to you. Oh, my God. Roland Martin. He doesn't want to talk to us. He wants to ignore us. Uncensored. Hell no. no. That ain't going to cut it, boo. Unapologetic. No, no, that, that is fundamentally false. You are wrong. Unfiltered. He wants an America where we all look alike. He ain't talking about black people. Unrelenting. You better go work out, because you got to fight on your hands. News One Now with Roland Martin, weekdays at 7 a.m. on TV One.